Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Switch Watch, your home for everything Nintendo Switch related. If you want to keep up to date with the latest game reviews and all the news, you might want to consider subscribing. I'm Jay Zerera and today I am delighted to be talking to you about Bold Boy. The makers of the game Bulbware gave us an exclusive early copy, thanks guys, and you may have seen we put out a game preview of the first couple of hours of the game and now we've had longer with it we've managed to finish the game it was a fun adventure but ultimately is it worth your hard-earned cash now the Nintendo switch at the moment is on fire when it comes to indie content we're seeing games coming out left right and center and that's fantastic but it does mean you have to be selective about the number of games you're gonna purchase is this the one for you Bowl Boy is a point and click adventure game. It takes you through a linear story across a number of levels. The game's set in a really spooky environment and it's offset with some kind of cutesy humour. You play as the main protagonist, Bowl Boy himself. You seem to live a pretty normal life and you're at home one evening with your grandpa and your dog watching a bit of telly. You go to bed, everything seems normal and then boom, out of the blue, all of a sudden things start going weird. And when I say weird, I do mean spooky. Nothing seems to be normal. You don't know where your grandpa and your dog have gone and uh, you get taken on this journey of creepiness. Along this story, there are some pretty genuinely heartfelt moments. The game itself isn't voice acted, which kind of adds to the eeriness of the game as you're kind of mumbling along. Offsetting the main stages where you're going through the surrounds and amongst your house and some other strange stages are these what look to be dreams and these are much brighter, the music's louder, the music's more friendly and you can get to control a different number of characters including your grandpa who's frustratingly slow and your dog who's sort of flying around and these stages help break up the eerie uh, main storyline. In terms of gameplay, the controls have been ported over really well. This game was originally released on the PC and on iOS devices. It's actually scheduled for release on the Xbox One and PS4 later on this year. But interestingly, the developers decided to release it first onto the Nintendo Switch. It's not coming out on those other consoles for three to four months. Now this is a really good sign to me. It shows that publishers are willing to get behind Nintendo and that it's a platform that people want to make games for, which is great for us down the line. You can see that putting it onto the Switch wasn't an afterthought. It plays really well in handheld mode. I personally liked it on the train while traveling into work, putting my headphones in, kind of got into this eerie world. The, the sound is really good. The controls themselves are quite simple. Bold Boy is not just called Bold Boy for no reason, he is literally a bulb. <laughs> and this adds to the element of the game. One of the main ways of solving puzzles is by jumping up into light fittings and fixtures and swinging from one to another. You also kind of roll around a lot of the levels, which is really interesting. It means you're not just on your two feet in a normal way and it does add some depth to the gameplay. The gameplay itself, the, the, the levels are fairly difficult without being overly so you're not gonna break your console with this one out of pure frustration but you're not going to be disengaged when you're playing it you do have to think about it it's a nice balance i found that all of the stages were varied enough the game's not particularly long but it was a fun ride the game's got a really devilish sense of humor if you're into toilet humor this is the one for you my personal favorite as i said on the first video had me in hysterics was the giant poop boss which attacks you you're the, as you're the dog, you're also peeing all over the place and towards the end of the game, you're inside Grandpa and it's a bit freaky and a bit nasty. It doesn't take itself too seriously, but it doesn't lose from the creepy factor. All in all, this is a good game. It's one to p pick up and play on a weekend. Maybe if you've got a long haul flight or something like that. It's good fun and I definitely recommend picking up a copy. Overall, I think this one is a solid 7.5 out of 10. It's going to be a fun adventure, it's not going to be too taxing, but it's not going to be too easy either. It's a good balance, and if you like puzzles, you like point and click games, and if you like a bit of horror and have got a bit of a sense of humour, you can't go far wrong. Not a bad way to spend a few hours in between major games or as a nice break. If you like what you see, and you want to keep up to date with all the latest Switch news and game reviews, you might want to consider subscribing. Thanks a lot for joining me today. Hit that thumbs up button and let us know your thoughts below. Thank you very much. Take care.